Let's jump into first off indications and then contraindications. When, when are you typically mostly getting these uh, patients sent to you? So uh, primary referral base is nephrology. We get a majority of them as outpatients, probably 85% as outpatients, handful as inpatients. And the main indication that I see is proteinuria. That's, that's actually another reason I'm not a huge fan of uh, renal biopsies. I know that some people are like super interventional radiologists. And so they know all the indications and they can suss out like when something kind of doesn't feel right. But for me, I really take a lot of I'll take the lead of the nephrologist. If the nephrologist says that they need a renal biopsy, this isn't one that I push back on um, and say, you know, is the indication really there? Like, do you really need it for this proteinuria? I mean, I'll certainly talk with my nephrologist about like risk stratification and then if a patient's at risk. But as far as the indications go, I see proteinuria all the time. I see renal insufficiency all the time. And those are the two main indications that I see. Yeah, I actually, when uh, in the practice that I'm working out of, it's they're mostly inpatients coming across our plate nowadays. Um, I think a lot of it was like uh, maybe it had to do with COVID, people having this like sort of random acute renal failure uh, related to COVID. And then, uh, you know, pro- proteinuria is definitely mostly outpatient, obviously. Mm-hmm. But then you, and, and probably like, you know, lupus nephritis uh, outpatient. But yeah, the acute unexplained kidney failure, we're seeing a lot of that in the hospital. And that's a lot of times when they have some, confounding, you know, issue or the, or comorbidity and they're on, you know, blood thinners for arrhythmia or, uh, they're on, they've been on aspirin or Plavix cause they have heart disease. And so that's when I, you know, I definitely pick up the phone and I have a conversation with the nephrologist about, okay, how soon do you need this? You know, can we stop these blood thinners? Uh, because we're going to need to, to do this. And so the, like you said, the risk stratification is part of the pushback. Oftentimes, I'm not questioning the indication. It's more just, you know, hey, this person has a very small sliver of renal cortex. Like, do you really need this tissue biopsy? Because chances are they're going to bleed. So, um, yeah, so I I feel the same way. What about contraindications? So contraindications for me is uh, uncontrolled coagulopathy, uh, uncontrolled hypertension. If they have some kind of ongoing infection or they're they're in-house and they're actually obstructed, those are the, the contraindications. And the one that actually tends to come up mostly is the uncontrolled high blood pressure. And we'll get into that later about some things that you can do on the table. Um, but uncontrol- uncontrolled blood pressure. And then patients who are just too unstable to have the renal biopsy. I've had a couple of patients who could not lay prone or be in a decubitus position. And we can also talk about that later because there are some ways to troubleshoot that. But those are the two main things, like patients who are just too unstable to have a renal biopsy, either because they can't tolerate the positioning or I'm worried that they just don't have enough reserve if they had a bleed. It could be life. I mean, it's always life threatening as a bleed, but I'm worried I can't get them to cath lab in time. And then uh, patients with hypertension who we can't get uh, relatively well controlled day of procedure. 